Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for one of those videos that goes into the playlist of illogical purchases. I never, I didn't make any illogical purchase video for a long time now, and today I think it is time for another one because I bought stuff and this stuff is not that logical. So, let's check them. I have here two items. One is this very tall one and the other one is this white box. Let's put the white box aside for now and let's take a look at this box. So, this box is a box of Pelican 4001 ink. First, I want to tell you why I did this. Um, we have been with very strict uh, limitation to where we can get out of the home, but there are some things that we can do and one is to to go for a little walk not far from home uh, the other one is to make um, is to go and buy some stuff and there are some stores that are open and some of them are the stores with medical products or the, the pharmacies and the other ones and there are some other stores that can be open, but other stores that can be open are stationary stores because usually stationary stores are the place where newspapers are traditionally sold. However, not anymore in most of the stationary stores, but they are classified according to our law like uh, places where you can get information and because you cannot have your information denied you have to have access to places where you can buy journals as if they still were the main information source. So, a little bit tired of being at home all the time and needing to, to buy some FFP2 masks, uh, I went to, to Lisbon downtown, which is quite safe to go now because it is mostly empty uh, usually it should be full of tourists but now as you can guess there is no one there it is very very empty so i went there and i went to buy the masks i went for a walk so it was nice for that and i also went into um, stationery store, an old one where I bought some stuff that I already showed you here, such as some Lamy CP1 pens, and I went there and he had this Pelican bottle, which is interesting because it is a nice big bottle, it is full, the, the ink goes almost here to this level. This is quite, it is white, but it's quite <laughs> opaque. You not, you don't see it very clearly. So it is very full and it is a, um, a bottle of Konigsblau or Royal Blue or Bleu Royal washable um, or Azul Real, which is the Portuguese uh, translation, the Portuguese uh, sentence for washable blue. However, this is not Portuguese, this is Spanish, because azul real, in Portuguese is azul real, in Spanish is azul real, and then it's, it says lavable, and in Portuguese it would be lavável. So, but we can understand, these words are exactly the same, the first two. So it is a quarter of a liter uh, bottle and it is an older one it is made in West Germany and so it has some time now and it has the little uh, the, the pelican with the two baby pelicans in the nest which is not 
the logo right now it only has one baby pelican I checked the, the ink in the store and the color seemed normal so I bought it and why is that uh, an illogical purchase I really don't need more ink I even less need some regular ink and I'm not a big fan of blue ink so I bought it because I could it was not expensive and it was there and I think sometimes all this confinement and stuff makes me want to just to buy something to to have fun and so and I also can help the store in a way so I'm quite happy with this because I could buy a big bottle I think this one I will take to my work when we eventually go back in an everyday basis and I guess when I go back to work I may uh, gift some fountain pens to some colleagues and maybe I'll have the ink bottle in my desk when they need to refill them so it's like a trying to spread these addiction on fountain pens to other people so this is illogical because do I need this? do I love blue? no, no but I bought it anyway the other part of this illogical purchase was this and this is a white box for a Rotring 600 I like Rotring products a lot this pen came inside this very very nice tin box it needs to be a little bit cleaned I think just like this plain black you can see all the lights and stuff and the reflection of my cell phone where I filmed this and the little light umbrella there and rotring here and the box opens it has a very interesting lid because the lid can be put aside to uh, display your pens and it also has some display room here so I think it is really nice and I'm really happy with the box it's nice and it has a pen inside and the pen is a Rotring 600 which is a nice pen with it's not adjusted to the right place it has a medium nib and so why was this an illogical purchase also it was an illogical purchase because I already know the Rotring pens I have Rotring pens so did I need another one no I really didn't need but I want it I think and I already had two Rotring Newton pens this is one which have this same kind of hexagonal shape this one has a different kind of nib different kind of section and I, I have this one for a long time now which is also a Rotring 600 uh, sorry, Rotring Newton has that one but it has somehow the same kind of feeling and I bought an older version which is the Rotring 600 which is a little bit different than these ones but an interesting one and I bought it so did I need it? no I didn't this pen is very very expensive I got it quite inexpensive because it's not in good condition and this is the part that really makes not that much sense and it's why it is illogical in first place this part was not here this little ring that keeps the cap posted let me show you was missing so I just put another one that I have here just to try and now I, I was not going to take it out just to show you on the video and one thing and the pen is new is in new old stock however this pen has a problem that many or at least some Rotring 600 had and you can even find on eBay some pens being sold in that condition and they are still expensive even if they are with problems so it is quite amazing this pen is quite expensive is that the pen has a crack on the barrel 
I think you can see there. It is something that happened. This pen is very uh, sturdy. I'm not 100% sure if it is made of aluminum, aluminum or brass. Not 100% sure. I need to check that better. But I know that some of these pens, maybe because of these parts are very hardened, um, put in the pen under pressure, they cause the barrel, the metal barrel, to crack. There are some uh, stories on the internet of people saying that they had the pen on their collection for years and then they picked it up and it was cracked, just like this. So this was kind of a, a risk. I saw this pen in last year's summer when I went to the store several times and I was about to buy this pen when I noticed the crack. And I'm sure the seller didn't know of the crack also. I, I, I believe that. And he showed me the pen so I didn't buy it. Uh, because it had the, the crack. Then I returned there and the pen was no longer uh, on, the, on the displays. It was not showing. It was hidden away. And I think because he knew that the pen was not uh, easy, easily sold. And I thought, and I asked, do you still have that pen? If you make me a good discount, I will take it. Because I just, I just want it. Rotring pens are good and nice black pen. So I would live with that. And then he told me that he, he still had the pen. He, that he, he would make me that discount. But... He took the pen, since my last visit, he took the pen to a jewelry store and asked the jeweler to... Um, no, I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm missing the, the word here. But to, to fix the, the crack. So this was f uh, fixed with metal and heat. Uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm not remembering the, the right word for that. It's not glue, it's just with, with metal and heat. And it was fixed. Of course, you can see it. It is impossible, I think, to fix this pen with this matte finish and it's not visible. But he did it anyway and he, uh, he was not selling the pen. The pen was hidden away. And he agreed in making me the discount and I brought this ink also so he made me a very good price and I took I brought the pen home so this is why I think this is this was a kind of a logical purchase because I bought a pen that has a defect very very inexpensive but it has a defect and you could say but you bought a nice pen because you're going to write with it every day but maybe I won't, because I have lots of pens, so I didn't really need this pen, but sometimes we need to go into a consumer's uh, spree and go and, and buy stuff. So I got it. I'm very happy with the price I bought it. It comes with these, these useless, not that useless, but I'll talk about that someday later cartridges with no bottom and with an old rotring cartridge here that is with this yellow ending like they used to be and it is almost dry now and what will I do? I will throw this away. No, I won't. I will rehydrate this and keep it calm, keep it working. Just because that's what I <laughs> I enjoy to do, and I don't do it because I don't have any ink to put in the pen, but because I like to give a new life to pens, and in a way this makes me happy with this also because I think this pen got a new life. And I'm not sure if someone was going to buy this pen because it is ruined. At least I, I know if one day I try to, to have my money back, I can sell this pen for parts and 
maybe I, I will even get more than I paid. I also can, I'm not sure if it is possible if there are around, but I have to check it. Maybe I can try to find just a spare barrel and uh, replace the barrel because the nib and everything else is okay. I didn't try the nib. It is still an inked, but I will do it someday soon. So, this was an interesting thing that I decided to do. I don't know if you liked this video. I hope you did. And just to share with you, there was something that I, I always thought when I was a children, when I was a child, I went to some pet stores and I looked to the to some fishes that were in the in the tanks. Some of them didn't have one eye or one eye or one fin or something like that. And I wanted to bring them home because I thought nobody else would buy them and they would be there alone. And this is the same kind of feeling I find with this stuff sometimes. Who would buy an old bottle of ink? Maybe no one. Maybe someday this was going to go to the trash. Maybe no one would buy this pen. I did it. So that makes me quite happy. So. This is all for today, it's quite a long video, just sharing some thoughts. I have to thank you for being in that side and listen, listening to me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and I'll be back soon. Bye!